you know when q4 rolls around man it's like a really long christmas day if christmas day lasted for three months and you know you're running around frantic all the time trying to find inventory you're trying to find more money to buy inventory with you're putting out fires in your business amazon's losing your inventory amazon support doesn't help at all but with all of those great things that amazon does bring during q4 there are some big mistakes that i see sellers make every single year and in this video i want to help you guys avoid some of those big mistakes that like i said i see people commit these mistakes every single year let's get right into it mistake number one that i want you guys to avoid is feeling like you need to sell everything immediately right right when q4 starts you want to sell everything regardless of what's going on if people start dragging the price you want to drag the price along with them because you want to capitalize on as many sales as possible and i think this is a mistake now i'm not saying that you need to hold on to all of your inventory until uh you know the very tail end but what i am saying is sometimes you're going to run into some inventory that it would be wise to hold on to a little bit longer because maybe you know you got it at a great price you have potential to make much much more money if you may hold on to it for a couple of weeks while all, everybody starts selling out um, or maybe it's just a product that you'll never replenish again because this is the first time you've ever gotten it your supplier doesn't sell it again maybe it's a closeout whatever it may be but don't be afraid if you have some inventory that you think has potential to make you a lot more profit down the road to hold on to it for a couple of weeks while everyone starts selling out again like i said in the last video there's going to be so many stockouts this year so if you have inventory with potential don't be afraid to hold on to it just a little bit longer to capitalize on those profits don't get caught up in the sales game guys do not get caught up in i just need to make as many sales as possible and sacrifice your profits because sales without profit is useless right it's just numbers on a screen you need to be making that profit that you're bringing home and adding back into your business or then why are you doing this you know what i mean the, the sales is whatever people are always flashing their sales around but that doesn't mean anything if there's no profit behind it now the second mistake that i want you guys to avoid is manually repricing all of your products if you have more than a handful of products or more products than you can handle as far as manually repricing them all the time then just get a repricer there are tons and tons of different repricers on the market now that there's really no excuse to not have one some are more expensive than others some are really cheap you just have to go with the one that you're going to like the best but you really want to be prepared with a repricer especially during this time because you don't want to be manually changing the price all the time life gets in the way you're busy you know you have other things to do you can't manually change that price and you're not going to be as competitive if you're not using a repricer so I just really think it's a no-brainer to use a repricer during this time. Now, there are some repricers that are very, very pricey. I mean, upwards of 1,000, 1,200 bucks, uh, but there's also repricers that are much, much cheaper that get the job done and do very well. Now, Amazon does have its own repricer and there are different kind of uh, plugins and add-ons and Chrome extensions, but there's already so many great repricers on the market. You have so many to choose from at so many different price points that you should just look into one of those and then um, just start implementing it into your business. And also when it comes to repricers, a lot of people have you know the one that they like the most or maybe the most popular one that's doing a lot of marketing at the time or maybe just the most expensive one that people think that's the best one just because you can afford the software doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the best fit for you and your business so decide what kind of repricer you want and then go from there some repricers reprice on the schedule some you have to set rules some are algorithmic so just decide which kind of repricer you want and then just and then just go and a lot of these repricers will give you a free trial so you guys can test it out test it out on a few products if you're already using a different repricer and then um, see what you like from there and then and then go from there but i'll go over a few examples of repricers on the market do not feel obligated to sign up for any one of these i'm just showing you what is out there because there are a lot of different repricers out there um, so just look at this list and then you know do some more of your own research and then sign for sign up for whatever one you want but again, to reiterate my point, I really, really recommend you guys sign up for some sort of repricer because once we really get going into Q4, things are gonna get very competitive very fast. And in order to stay competitive, then you're really gonna wanna have a good repricer in your back pocket. 
Now, these repricers I'm gonna show you range from different price points. Some are very expensive and some are very cheap. So just take it with a grain of salt, do a little bit more research and uh, sign up with whichever one you want. I'll leave some of these links down below. So if you guys wanna sign up for any of these, then you guys have you know a quick link uh, down below in the description. All right, but this first one is informed.co. This is a popular repricer. It is more expensive than some of the other ones that I'm gonna show you, but it's based off of your monthly revenue. So starting off, you're gonna be paying $50 a month up until you pass the $5,000 mark. Then it's gonna double and it's gonna to go to $100 a month. The higher you go in a monthly revenue, the more expensive this repricer is going to be. So if we just keep going, you know, if you're doing uh, around $75,000 a month, it's going to be $250 a month. If you're doing upwards of, you know, half a million, 600,000, it's going to be $400 a month and it just goes up. So keep that in mind. You're going to start at 50, but past the $5,000 mark, you're going to be paying 50. Then you're going to be paying 100, then 150, 200, 250, 300, 350. Okay. So just keep that in mind. It is more pricey, but this is a good uh, repricer because it's it's a good repricer. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones I'm going to show you. Uh, but like I said, it's a good algorithmic repricer that um, you can rely on. All right. So the next repricer I'm going to show you is Go Aura. Go Aura is very, very popular right now uh, because they're doing a lot of marketing via influencers in the Amazon FBA space. So chances are you have probably heard of it if you're not currently using it, but it's a good priced product. I actually want to test this one out myself. I haven't tested it out uh, as of yet. I have heard a lot of good things about it, but it's a good price product. A uh, hundred dollars. If you pay monthly $77, if you pay annually. Now the next one is profit protector pro. This is one that I'm actually testing out with a few products because I did want to see if it was going to be up to par to some of the other repricers on the market. And it does pretty well, especially for the price. Um, and it's a good one that you guys can start out with if you don't have a lot of money or you just don't want to pay too much for a repricer start out with profit protector pro and uh you know you're only gonna be paying 27 dollars a month and you have a lot of different algorithms that you can set for your products that are going to get the job done uh the next one is be cool this is another popular one on the market it's a schedule based repricer so depending on the package that you purchase will depend on the speed that your products will get repriced. So these first three are gonna get repriced every 15 minutes. And then if you pay for the $100 a month, you're gonna get repriced every five minutes. Doesn't mean it's good or bad that it's schedule based. It's just a different repricer than the ones that I've just shown you. Next one is reprice it. It's also a schedule based. This is an old school one. I believe this one's been around for a very, very long time. It's one of the cheaper options on the market. Uh, but it's schedule based. I don't know if it's better than the ones I've shown you because I haven't used it before, uh, but it is a cheaper option. And the next one, or the last one is repricer.com. Now this repricer is above and beyond what a lot of people are gonna need, especially starting out. Because if you can see here, your top option is gonna be $1,200 a month. But again, guys, don't feel obligated to sign up for any of these. These are just some examples. There are many, many more repricers on the market that you can look into. These are just some quick examples that popped in my head that I wanted to share with you. But again, I really recommend you get some sort of repricer, not rely on the Amazon repricer if you have more than a handful of products. Because like I said, things are gonna get very competitive, very fast as we enter Q4 and you just wanna make sure you're ready. All right, now the last mistake that I want you guys to avoid, which is probably the most common mistake that people make, is ignoring what they know about product research. This is rampant with new sellers. Is Q4 rolls around, they're so eager to just start selling, they're so eager to just buy inventory, send it in, they think that Q4 is going to magically increase every single product on the market regardless of what the data has shown for the last year or two years they throw that all out the window because it's q4 and they want to make some sales and that is a huge huge mistake not every single product is going to increase in sales and demand during q4 so you really want to look at the data you have so much data at your fingertips it still blows my mind how people don't ju just use it don't look at what the price is selling today. Look at up the last month. Look at the last three months, the last six months. Look at pre-COVID data. Look at the last Q4. Look at the Q4 before that. You have so much data on so many of these products that it would just be foolish not to take your time and really evaluate the data before you purchase. Don't just buy a product because it's Q4 and you think it's gonna increase in sales and you're gonna make lots and lots of money. 
do not do that okay you need to remember your fundamentals of product research don't forget that that is the backbone of your business if you're not buying profitable inventory then your business will die and if you're watching this video and you're just telling yourself you know i don't really know what to look for when i'm doing product research i don't know if i'm doing product research correctly uh, then i made this video for you guys that i want you guys to watch if you want to learn how to do product research or maybe you just need a refresher on how to do product research and look at the keeper graph i give you guys some real world examples in this video i show you guys exactly what you need to be looking for and avoiding so you guys can make good buying decisions and find those winning products so click this video right here it's going to help you guys out a lot i know you guys are going to like it See you guys in that next video.